Next, in our video build series, we will focus on the lower frame assembly. You will need six 2020 extrusions, three frame motor assemblies, and the frame hardware bag contents. Insert an M5x12 screw and M5 washer into the hole on the metal extrusion from behind. Then thread a T-nut on the screw with no more than two revolutions. Repeat this process for the remaining screw holes on both sides of the extrusion. When complete, you will have inserted eight total. Continue this process until you have three frame motor assemblies with screws and T-nuts installed. Next, position the frame motor assembly with the lead wire to the right, then carefully align and slide each 2020 extrusion on the T-nuts as shown. Once complete, tighten each M5 screw lightly. Repeat the process for the remaining two frame motor assemblies. Use a bold marker and place X, Y, and Z stickers on the motors as shown. Isolate the X motor assembly. Next, install three T-nuts, two on the top side of the upper extrusion and one on the inside of the top extrusion. Isolate the Y motor assembly and insert five T-nuts, two on the top side of the upper extrusion one on the inside of the upper extrusion and two on the inside of the lower extrusion. Lastly, insert six T-nuts on the Z-motor assembly, three on the top side of the upper extrusion, one on the inside of the upper extrusion and two on the inside of the lower extrusion. Position the three assemblies carefully as shown as to avoid having T-nuts fall out. Then align the first set of T-nuts and carefully slide the three assemblies together. Tip, this works better with two people. If building solo, consider removing one set of T-nuts as demonstrated. Then tighten the M5 screws and lastly slide the remaining T-nuts in place and secure. Finally, on a level surface, square up the horizontal extrusion with the corner extrusion and tighten each M5 screw. Flip the assembly over and repeat.